What's up everyone and welcome to part 5 in the video series about how to get good at using Procreate. In this video we're going to be covering layers, so let's check it out. Alright, so let's dive right into it. Now we tap with four fingers to reveal the interface and now we can see the weird image that we're going to be working with today. Now, this image is composed out of multiple layers. So basically we have layers stacked on top of layers in order to create this flat image that we see in front of us right now. So let's take a look at how these layers look like. So we tap on this icon right over here and now we can see all of the layers that compose this image. Now if you want to create a new layer, what you do is you tap on the plus icon right here and that creates a new layer and then you can tap on it once and then tap on rename if you want to rename this layer to whatever makes sense. Then you can start drawing on this layer without having to affect the original image or the artwork underneath. You can just toggle this on and off, not having to worry about it. If you don't like it, delete it. Simple as that. Now let's take a look at how you show or hide layers in this interface. What you do is you tap on this icon right here and that hides this layer or this layer group in this instance. So it's very simple, you just tap on the check marks over there in order to hide or show the layers. Now let's talk about the layer groups. If we tap on this icon right here, we can see all of the layers that compose of this layer group. Now layer groups are exactly what they sound like, it's a group of layers. So if you want to group layers together, you select them by swiping to the right like this, and then you tap on this icon right here, and that simply creates a group. You can then name that group whatever you want, and then you can choose to show or hide that group by using the check mark over there. Now layers work pretty much the same as every other object in Procreate. What you can do is you can tap and hold on it, then drag it around, and we can maybe position it over here so we put it underneath the background layer so we can't see it anymore because the background is in front. But as you can see, it's pretty simple to rearrange things in Procreate. It's just drag and drop. Now the quick menu can be very handy. To access that, you swipe to the left and here you can see lock, duplicate or delete. So you can lock a layer, you can duplicate it or you can delete it. Now the lock layer functionality basically prohibits you from making any changes to this layer unless you unlock it. So right here it says lock layer selection, you have to go into it and unlock it in order to make some changes to it. In a similar way, if you try to paint on a hidden layer, it's also going to prevent you from doing that. So right here it says hidden layer, you have to open up this layer in order to make changes to it. And then you click on the check mark and you're good to go. Now one handy trick to know is how to select the contents of a layer. Let's say for example that I wanted to select the outlines of this layer, just what's been drawn on this layer, just the outlines of that. What I can do is just tap and hold with two fingers and then I selected the outlines of that layer. So now I can start drawing inside of the layer just like that without having to worry about going outside the edges over there. So it's pretty cool if you want to make shading or any highlights or anything like that. It's a very nice little shortcut that you can do. Now there's another shortcut that is very similar to the previous one, which is the opacity. So you tap on the layer with two fingers, just tap on it, and then you can access the opacity. Just slide your finger anywhere on the canvas in order to change the opacity. Left to decrease it, right to increase it. Now here's an awesome way to clear out the layer just by using gestures. What you do is you make sure the layer is selected and you take three fingers and you swipe left to right like crazy and that clears out the layer. It's very simple, just do that and it clears it out. Now let's talk about alpha lock. There's a cool gesture to do alpha lock that's basically taking two fingers, swiping it to the right and that locks all edits that you're going to do on this layer to the layer boundaries. So basically, if you want to draw, you can only draw inside of the layer boundaries, like so. So this is awesome if you want to make some shading or highlights or anything like that. You can just alpha lock the layer and then you can't really do any changes outside of the layer, you can't mess it up basically. So if we remove the alpha lock by swiping to the right like this, then we can see we can draw outside of the layer boundaries again. Yeah. 
All right, now let's talk about the layer options. So we tap on a layer, first select it, then tap. And then we can see all of the options that are available to us on this layer that we can do to this layer, basically. So we can rename this layer, pretty self-explanatory. We tap on that, we rename it. We can select the contents. That's basically the same as tapping and holding. We select the layer boundaries. We can copy it. We can fill the layer. So that's basically using the color that we selected and filling in the entire contents of the layer. Then we can clear out the layer. That's basically using three fingers and swiping left to right. Alpha locking is what we talked about earlier, where we swipe two fingers to the right. We can mask. Now, masking is something that I don't really use that much in Procreate. It's basically a way to mask out the layer. So you can basically erase parts of this layer without erasing the layer. You're basically applying a mask on top of the layer that specifies what should be shown and what should not be shown. Now, personally, I don't use this feature that much. I simply make a duplicate of the layer, then hide the original layer, and then make whatever changes that I want to the duplicated layer. But I don't know, maybe I'm missing something here. If you have a really cool reason to use masking in Procreate, let me know in the comments down below and we can revisit this topic at a later video. Now, the next one to talk about is the perspective assist. Now, this is a topic that I'm gonna cover in this video right here. But basically what it does is it allows you to create perspectives within the canvas that you can then make this layer adhere to. So you can specify this layer should basically follow the perspective lines that you specify in the perspective tool. So check out that video if you want to learn more about the perspective tool. So next up is the reference option. So if we tap on this, then this is going to set this layer as the reference outline for the color drop tool. So if we make a new layer like here and we drag and drop the color drop tool on the empty layer, it's going to use the reference layer as its outline and color in only that specific area. So if this is something that you're looking for in Procreate, then this is how you do it. Anyways, let's move on to merging. So if we squeeze together with two fingers, we merge these together. This one basically does the same thing. It just merges these two layers together. Combine down makes a group with this layer and the underlying layer. Another cool thing that you can do with groups is you can have groups within groups. So you can nest group, so you can take this one, for example, and then group the group within a group, right? <laughs> That's basically what that does. Now let's talk about layer effects. Now you see these letters over here, N over here, over here and here and here, here. This one has an A, I'll explain what that does in a little bit. But if we tap on the N over here, we can see the layer effects. And layer effects basically specify how this layer is going to interact with the underlying layer. You can have it so it darkens the underlying layer, it lightens the underlying layer in different ways, changes the contrast ratios, changes the hue of the underlying layer. There's all sorts of possibilities here. And I'm not going to go into every single one of them in this video because it's going to make the video way too long. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show on the screen right now what all of the layer effects do. And if you want to know more about them, feel free to pause the video and read upon what these layer effects do. Anyway, let's move on with the video. Now, the last layer effect to talk about is the opacity, this slider right here. So that controls the opacity of the layer and basically works the same way as tapping with two fingers and then swiping to the left or right to control the opacity. So if you want to control the layer opacity with a slider like this, then that's where you find it. Now, last but not least is the background layer. Now, the background layer basically is a layer that you cannot remove. It's always going to be there. Now, you can uncheck it to make it go transparent, but it's always going to be there. You can't remove it, essentially. Now, you can choose the color of the background layer by tapping on it, but there are no other options. You, there's no layer effects or anything like that. You just select the background color. I recommend something dark when you're starting off because you don't want to get eye strained by the white light beaming into your eyes the entire time you're painting this image. So this is going to be the end of this video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. Leave a comment and a like on this video if it helped you out. It really helps me out. Now, if you want to check out the next video in the series, click on this one right here where I'm going to be talking about image effects or adjustments. 
click here to see another video from mine and click here to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.